Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk. And my name is Wale Ayantoye, and today we're going to be talking about active listening. Mm -hmm. After all this episode of being talking and talking and talking, we're going to be exploring the angle of active listening. And in reality, we live in a generation where we have a lot of things to say. Ooh, talking from politics to personal life to everything in between. There are thousands of things to talk about. But in the real sense, how much of a listener are you? We live in a time where everybody just wants to say something. And we have this opinion of you have to listen to what I'm saying. But the question is, are you really, really listening? Or you just acting like you're listening? Before we dive into this episode, I remember a while back where I was speaking to a customer services representative at a particular company. I was explaining my situation to her, my challenge. And she just kept talking and talking and to a point I was like, ma'am, are you really listening to what I'm saying or are you just interested in telling what you, what you just want to tell me? And more than, more than ever before, people get aggravated like a simple situation that could easily be resolved if you're an active listener. Half of the time always gets aggravated because people aren't listening. So let's check yourself. Are you an active listener? And before that, we're going to talk about the three A's of listening. The first one is attitude. The second one is adjustment. And the third one is attention. Attitude, adjustment, and attention. Or you can say attention, attitude, and adjustment. The three A's. These are very, very important. If someone is talking to you about a particular topic or a particular situation as a manager, are you really listening? Are you giving them the attention they deserve? And then, Let's say you're actually giving them the attention they deserve. After they've said what they want to say, are you adjusting? Or it's just going to be the same cycle over and over again? So, these are some of the questions. And also that leads me to addressing the four cardinal rules of active listening. The first one is seek to understand before you are understood. When a subordinate, a teammate, or somebody comes to you to tell you something, don't be so quick to put on your gladiator's armor to defend yourself or defend the organization or you're so quick to say something. Rather, just listen. It's not going to kill you. Even though sometimes deep down you feel like, oh God, can this person just shut up? Because what they're saying doesn't make sense. It might not really make sense to you, but it makes sense to them. And your job, half of the time becomes easier if you can just listen. I found myself in a position where I felt I, was, I wasn't given the recognitions or the promotion that I reserve for, for certain projects that I've done. And I spoke to a senior manager about it. And instead of her to listen to what I'm trying to say, she was so quick to say, have you done A, B, C, X, Y, Z? I'm like, yeah, I've done all of that. Okay. Now that you've mentioned it, that I've done it, what's the solution you're going to provide? And she was just, it was that point for me in person, that was a turnaround point for me. Like, um, it's time for me to move on to a new job. Because I'm going to be at a place where what I'm trying to communicate is not being understood or is not being listened to, then there is really no point for me to be around here. Each one and every one of us love to be listened to. Just the same way you don't like to be ignored, learn to understand people before you want them to understand you. That is definitely going to save you a lot of headache professionally and personally. And that brings me to the second point, be non-judgmental. Woo! Human beings, man. The moment someone is telling you something, you've already drawn your line, you've already made up your mind about what you want to say next. Don't be judgmental. Sometimes, for me personally, people always ask me, like, why is it that people feel so comfortable telling you some of their deepest secrets? I'm like, because I don't judge. No matter what you're telling me, I keep an open mind. I just want to hear what you're saying. Understood, understood the situation. I address the issue, I address the issue at end and not the person. If you're non-judgmental, you, you can just try. And don't let us even go into a religion. That's a whole nother box that I don't even, that's a Pandora box I don't want to explore. But professionally, don't be judgmental. When people are telling you things, when your team is subordinate, senior managers are telling you things, just listen. Have an open mind. And you're going to see how the conversation and the situation is going to improve for you. And that brings me to the third point. Give your undivided attention. We live in a generation of short attention span. Well, that's one of the main reasons why I try to keep this podcast less than 10 minutes. 
Because it means it's going beyond 10 minutes, you're going to be like, oof, that dude can talk forever. And forgetting the fact that I am here to try and make your life better. But we live in a generation where from fast food to fast cars to fast jobs to fast career to fast dating. Try and give people undivided attention when they're talking to you. Try and keep engaged. Nod your head. Make those little signs that make them understand that you're following along. That's definitely going to help a lot. And that brings me to another point. Use silence effectively. Do you know how much people can talk if you can just be quiet? Just be quiet and give those little signs like, mm -mm, okay. Nod your head and, and just give those little signs that means you understand that you, you, you're following along. And after they've said what they want to say, take a little moment to digest everything. Don't be so quick to provide solutions. And that's the same thing with customer service. When the customer is calling you to tell you about their situation, even though you already know the answer or the solutions, don't be so quick to provide solution. Listen to them. And when they're done, ask them, like reiterate what they've just said. Paraphrase it so you can understand what they've just said. And they're like, yeah, that's exactly what I just said then that's where you can provide a solution. That's where people feel like they've been heard. They feel like they've been listened to. Everybody wants to feel like they matter. And in real sense, everybody matters. Now, the question is this. Why is it very important for you to be an active listener? The first one is it builds trust. If you can just listen and shut up, it builds trust. People want to talk to somebody who listens to them. That's the first one. The second one is it increases productivity. I used to manage a program where nobody will listen. Everybody just want to provide solutions and half of the time that solution doesn't make sense. And because of that, that relationship was never, was never really a great one. Until someone has stepped in and he listened to everything that I have to say. My ideas, my suggestions. Does he agree with everything that I say half of the time? Not necessarily, but at least listen to me. And we were, we were able to make such an amazing draw that we deliver, we deliver a lot of great results. So it improves productivity. The third one is it resolves conflict. If people feel like you're going to listen when you've done something wrong or they, feel, they don't feel comfortable with what you've done, they're going to come to you and be like, hey, James, um, this and this happened yesterday and I don't really like it. I'm like, oh, my apologies. My intention was not to offend you. It was this, 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 this is what I was thinking. It resolves a lot of conflicts. It also improves working relationships. And that brings me to the last one. It gives people self-empowerment. When they feel like you listen to them, they're heard, they're believed in, it's empowered them to come with new creative creativities and new ideas to improve your organizations and improve your relationship. So, go out there, talk less, and listen more. My name is Wale Ayantoye, and thank you for listening.